Hello, welcome to the Winter Holter Training Academy. First of all, does your machine look like this? Because if it doesn't, unfortunately you're actually watching the wrong video. However, if it does, what we're actually going to do is show you how to get the machine ready to use, how to use the machine correctly, and then how to drain it, and then how to clean it. Also, throughout the video we're going to give you some great tips on getting a better usage out of the machine. Enjoy the next few minutes. Right. Let's look at switching the machine on and starting up. Switch the machine on on the wall isolator. It will look like one of these. Next, ensure all the items are in the correct position, especially the wash filters. Now check the upper and lower wash arms are in the right place. Now check the detergent and rinse aid containers are full and primed. Do not load any items into the machine at this stage, close the door. Touch the main screen and this will now illuminate. Press and hold the on button for three seconds. The machine will now start to fill automatically. Whilst this is happening, the main control will start to climb from red to green. When the machine is ready, the main start button will be green. If you see any other symbols on the screen, please speak with your line manager. Starting the wash program. If your machine is set up for washing glasses, the control panel will look like this. You have a choice of a short wash, a medium wash, or a long wash. If the machine is set up for washing dishes, the control panel will look like this. You have a choice of a short wash, a medium wash, and a long wash. If the machine is set up to wash both glasses and dishes, the control panel will look like this. You have three different programs, a glass washing program, a glass and dish washing program, and also a plate washing program. This is how we load the machine if we were washing crockery. Load the machine sensibly and do not overlap the items. Make sure you separate the plates and also keep the cutlery in an upright position with the handles facing down. Once this has been done, slide the basket in, start the washing process. This is how you load the machine if you're washing glassware. Fill the basket correctly. Make sure there is nothing in the glasses. Never empty them into the machine. Always use a sink to get rid of the dregs. Press the main button to start the wash. This, in the first instance, will turn blue and then gradually climb to green. When the cycle is finished, this button will flash on and off. At this point, remove the washed items and repeat. Through the day cleaning. During the operation, you can remove the filter basket and clean it if necessary. Then replace the filter. This is all done without draining the machine. Drain down and cleaning. The machine is equipped with a drain down program which assists you in cleaning the inside. Firstly, remove the basket or the rack. Make sure you leave the filter system and the wash arms in place. Then close the door. Next, press the drain down button for three seconds. This will turn white. The drain down self cleaning program is complete as soon as the screen turns blank. The machine will turn itself off automatically. Switch the isolator off on the wall. Manual daily cleaning. Once the machine has turned itself off, open the door and remove the wash arms. Check and clear any blockages inside the wash jets. Then remove the strainer basket and the filter bed ready for cleaning. Next, clean inside the machine, especially around the door area. Clean and rinse the wash arms, filter bed and the strainer basket. Replace the filter bed, 
strainer basket and the wash arms. Close the door and leave it slightly open and we've got a great clean machine. Water softening. If you see the S symbol flashing on the control panel, you will need to add granular salt to the machine. Softening the water is important as this prevents the buildup of lime scale. If not softened, the machine will go white or cloudy inside. This will affect the washing results. For the integral water softener to function correctly, the machine must be filled with granular salt, not tablet or table salt. This is really important. To fill the salt, remove the grey cap inside the machine. Fit the funnel. Pour in the granular salt until the unit is full. Remove the funnel and wipe away any salt spillage from the machine. Replace the grey cap. Close the door and the whole process is finished. Well, that's it. Thanks ever so much for watching and I hope you found it really interesting. Don't forget there are four major rules. Your first rule is to make sure you put the right chemical inside the machine. Your second rule is make sure you stack your baskets correctly. Your third rule is to make sure you select the right cycle time. The fourth rule is to make sure your machine is clean at all times. Don't forget, if you look after the machine, the machine will look after you. Thanks ever so much for watching the Winter Alter Academy.